This is the pros. You actually do have to put in the work. They do not wake up mm -hmm. that good. Hank Fresh used to play like eight hours when Bayo came out. And people were like, Hank, man. Only against Bayonetta. I thought yeah. it was insane. So <laughs> that's why he has a conversion for every situation. When it says go, you're like, how did he zero to death him? Like, it's go still on the screen. Mm -hmm. It's those eight hours a day. That's the truth. That's the truth. And now see who put in the most work between these two storied players, Ramsey and Siegel Joe. Both of them rocking the blue, trying to confuse the audience. <laughs> I mean, they look pretty different at least. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for that blonde hair, man. Yeah. But right now, Siegel Joe looking like he's getting the better uh, of Ramsey at the moment. 76 to 22. But Ramsey just firing right back with a down air. I love the nair right there. Perfect pivot back to get the spacing. But Siegel Joe was ready for it and actually gets the conversion off of it. Yeah, Seagull's actually just playing really well today in general. And Ramsey, he hasn't been getting a lot of uh, up air, up air, up ease, but I'm not sure if that's like MDVA learning how to DI it a lot better, or if it's just like some little technical error that's really hard to see. That up smash, I'm surprised it hit through the platform and it almost killed too. Through the platform in space perfectly. Mm -hmm. It looked like Seagull Joe literally practiced that in training mode. No, you can't just do that. He just ran up and did it. I love it. That is a. I, I love seeing people start using up smashes as a to cover landing options, which uh, doesn't matter though if you're dying in the air. <laughs> Ramsey does draw first blood right there. Yeah, the way that Ramsey plays honestly kind of reminds me of like a snake sometimes. Like it'll just kind of like slither around, and all of a sudden like you're bit, and then all of a sudden like you're dead. So you can see him in the Bible. I mean, Adam maybe. All right, I'm out. <laughs> oh, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it's just so quick and so deadly. Rimsey doing exactly what you should do with the lead, especially against a player like Siegel. He is now only throwing out safe things, not forcing any situation. Because he knows that his opponent has to run to him. He has four minutes to play with. And if anything, Ooh. oh my goodness. If anything, he can get hit by a back air. <laughs> oh yeah. I was going to say, if anything, Rage benefits him. And he's the one that can get the most off of an opening with his up air, up air, up B string. But Siegel Joe nullifying that and just getting rid of the stock. Great back air right there. Yeah. Also, something I'd like to point out is that a lot of times Ramsey's jumps are being chucked down really hard by Joe. Like, almost every other time he jumps, Siegel's right there with a forward air or a back air or just like some sort of punish right there. So I understand like why he's jumping. ZSS has a fast fall speed, has a fast transition from air to ground. But I would like to see like a little bit more like grounded movement just to like, prevent the situation from happening. Yeah, this is uh, one of the reasons that CSS has struggled with the Diddy matchup because Diddy's forward air stops the aerial option from Rimsy. Mm -hmm. But as you see, Sonic is doing the same exact thing Diddy would do. Yeah. And that's why uh, Seagull has the lead right now. Different word, same story. Rolling out of the situation. Seagull Joe says, if you do it one more time, though, there's an F-Smash waiting for you. Mm -hmm. And Seagull, ironically enough, being a lot more aggressive than he is generally known for, and it's working. Yeah, I feel like Seagull's actually at his best when he plays aggressive. Wow, that was so tricky right what? there. And gets a back air off of it. Is this Bayonetta on the screen? That conversion, that was both hits of up air just fast falling a little bit. And then use the spring. I think, I swear he's making this stuff up as he goes along. But now here comes Shades of the classic Seagull Joe. Just spinning around, holding that shield, and just trying to prevent any big, like, situation where he could possibly die. Well, he's trying to force something with F Smash right now, and... I don't know if I would want to take that risk, but Seagull Joe is the one indeed in Lucid's quarters right now. So he deems it to be the right option. Great up smash coming in from Seagull Joe, recognizing time and time again when he can get that opening. What's his success rate on these up smashes? I don't think he's missed one. I don't think he has either. And again, the spin shot from off stage into the up air. Beautiful stuff from Seagull Joe. Is this it though? Is he going to get out of the up B? Yeah. He doesn't, but he Whoa. lives. He doesn't live. So close, and he did everything he could, but like he DI'd it perfectly. He hit the forward air to avoid dying off the side blast zone. There's well, nothing else a seagull could have done there's there. There's actually a slight chance the forward air might have killed him. Nah, it shifts Sonic's her, her box forward. It does? Yeah. Okay. Because I know it shifts, but I wasn't sure where. And I know, like, ZSS, if she does, uh, it's either her forward air or her Zare, she actually would die. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's different for each character. Um, like, some characters, like, I know Sonic for a fact, his forward air always saves him. Like, it makes him live 1% longer. Beefy Smash Dudes did a video on that, I think. Um, then the only other thing was maybe he could have, if he had a double jump, could have took the risk off the top. That was the only other potential thing, but it was very close. Very close. Yeah. And he was playing so well that entire match. Yeah, it's got to be a bit of a heartbreaker, to be honest. Like, you're playing so well the entire game. You call him out on, like, by up smashing him, like, five times that game, and you didn't, you don't miss a single one. And then 
he still manages to take that sock. One through a very quick and deadly back air, and the other one through a grounded boost kick. Yeah, great stuff by Ramsey though, just recognizing all those positions and just capitalizing all the way to the bank on all of them. And now going for a more flat stage um, than Battlefield, which I thought the up smashes were doing a great job um, of connecting, especially with the platform being there, so I think he should have maybe kept the platforms. But maybe he thought Ramsey was escaping a little bit too much with it. Yeah, also I feel like it might just been he's uh, putting too much priority on avoiding the up air, up air, up air, up air like on the platform. Because, like, a battlefield, it's very easy for that to happen. But Smashville, you know, at least you'll be on the ground. You can maybe live a little bit longer. Maybe. Right now, it gets a nice little dash attack off of that whiff grab attempt by ZSS. And Ramsey trying to end it early. The up B does not connect with the final hit, though. Seagull gets to live another day. But, but how much longer is this day? Wow. A little bit longer. <laughs> Seagull air dodges to avoid the up B, but actually does not get a punish on the free falling blonde. <laughs> Honestly, like, when they're free falling, it's kind of hard to hit a lot of characters. It they is. There's so many options. Whenever you're watching it, you always think it's very easy. Whenever you're in the moment, you're like, wow, I did not hit the free falling Lucas <laughs> or ZSS or. <laughs> yeah, because, like, your brain's like, is this really happening? Can I really do this? I guess not. But that back air sure as heck can. It is very even right now. And he gets it again. Is he going to go out there to challenge it with an up B? No, but he does hit the Nair, and Seagull just all over Ramsey right now. But it feels like Seagull is like kind of outplaying Ramsey in a lot of small interactions, but Ramsey's just getting more when it counts. Yeah, Ramsey's conversion rate is amazing as far as when he does get oh the hit. Oh my god, that read was so good. That was the call out of a lifetime. Yes, indeed. Demonstrating a little tech skill right there. Opting not to tag really, really smart by Ramsey, knowing that if he tagged, Seagull would have been ready with an F smash. Mm. Yeah, sometimes it's better to just go off stage. Like, I know it's scary most of the time, but sometimes just you gotta. Yeah, and it's one of those things that you can only do once you let your opponent know that you can tech. So Ramsey demonstrated that he could and then opted not to. Hmm. Seagull Joe trying to force the kill right there with the F smash, eating a little bit of damage for it. Looking a little desperate to close out this stop. And Ramsey definitely respecting Seagull Joe. You can tell when Seagull comes to land, Ramsey's just leaving and letting him land. He's saying, I'll keep safe control and try to win the neutral. You can land as you please. That's a mark of a, like, a tried and true ZSS because like, a lot of them, especially a lot of the new ones, would try and pivot grab every single one of them. And wow, that back throw actually managed to kill. He was at like 140 or so, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. But The Nair does come through. Ramsey not able to get a conversion off of it. Seagull Joe keeps giving up stage control, and that's very interesting to me because ZSS isn't the best getting back onto the stage, and you obviously can set her up to punish the down B option. But if you automatically just give her center stage after she grabs the ledge, then nice. you don't even get a chance to punish it. I feel like that's kind of um, Joe playing Sonic and just being used to like, okay, I can just run in and take stage control whenever I want, like that. Like, he'll give it up and then uh, take it back in a heartbeat. And now, this is actually getting worse and worse for Ramsey. He was pixels away from getting the set, but Seagull Joe, he will not give this up without a fight. He would not. I like the grab attempt by Seagull Joe. Something nice and safe. Does make it back. Ramsey just threatening the area. But then he actually retreats in the end. He says, Seagull, you can have it. Even though he's only at 59%, he does give it up. Wow, running straight through that back air. Both of these players are so patient right now. Ooh, the spacing on that was so good. He doesn't get the auto cancel on the down air though. Ramsey might have been able to follow up with the punish, but Joe's just playing really, really well right now. But yes. that back air, oh, too little too late. Did find its mark. Great stuff from both of them. Seagull Joe um, looking pleased with how he performed. Um, Ramsey he was playing well. He was looking playing well. Dedicated to uh, his next opponent. <laughs> Very focused right now. Yep. Yes, indeed. Siegel did play really well, though. It's just really like his neutral was amazing. It's just those conversions. Just a little yep. bit more on those conversions, we would have been seeing a different game. Tano.